All right, as we near the end of the school year, lots of students are celebrating their accomplishments. Ten of your side's Melanie Woodrow is back with a very special Healthy in Hampton Roads. That's right. We're really excited about this one. Ten girls at Granby High School made a commitment to their health and their wellness this year. They joined the first <laughs> class of its kind that is dedicated to working out and eating well. The girls lost between 10 and 30 pounds each, making them healthy in Hampton Roads. There's something about a before and after picture. That was shocking. It can tell a story of growth. Before, I, I wouldn't be able to, like, to speak in front of people. And a story of loss. <laughs> Charday Boyd used to weigh 214 pounds. Five, 185, 185. But the before and after is just part of this story. We first met Boyd somewhere in the middle. Tired. <laughs> is, that, is that hard? A little bit. Boyd and nine other girls volunteered to take this one credit class, meeting two to three times a week. 30 minutes of nutrition, Come on, Alexa, keep 60 going. minutes of fitness. <laughs> Teachers Bridget Bertholdt and Juanita Etheridge created the program to combat a different before and after. My kids leave me as a 10th grader, and when I see them, they're seniors. I can tell you, most all of them have gained 10 to 15 pounds. It's unbelievable. Given the opportunity, girls like Alexa Bo signed up. I've seen more mental changes than physical changes. I'm more determined, and even though it hurts, I'm always fighting to the end. When we first met Shay Johnson, she was singing about healthy food. At an end of the year award ceremony, Johnson was singing a different song. Johnson lost 24 pounds. Wow, I've came a mighty long way, a long way. All because of two teachers who saw a before and dreamed of a different after. Out of all my classes, this class is for sure the best. Absolutely far and beyond the best class. These kids actually come in the classroom and they do some work. Losing weight isn't, not, isn't, isn't easy, but now that I did it, I feel like I can accomplish anything. And here in our audience today are students Charday Boyd, Lachey Johnson, Moesha Holly, Jamie Jenkins, Sarah Sullivan, Alexa Bow, and Miriam Clay. They are joined by teachers Bridget Berthold and Juanita uh, Etheridge. Sorry about that. Department Chair Kim Baylor and Granby High School President, President uh, Principal Ted Daughtry. Congratulations to all of you. Such an amazing accomplishment. So, Charday, you were the biggest loser. You lost. 29 pounds, what worked for you? Um, exercising outside of school, um, eating healthy, uh, my dedication to like, my weight goal, like, trying to lose my weight, and being competitive overall in the class. All right, sounds like those things definitely worked for you. You were the second biggest loser. You lost 24 pounds. Amazing, Lachey. What would you say to another young girl out there who's maybe struggling with her weight? Be motivated and be positive, and you can do it. They don't don't let no one tell you that you cannot do it, and that if you gotta want to change. You gotta want to change. Just don't do it because people are telling you to do it. You gotta want to do it for yourself, and stay encouraging. The sky's the limit. Great. I'm going to give you this microphone to pass down to you, the teachers. So, Juanita, what has the interest been from other schools, um, teachers at other schools, about the need for a program like this? We've had other schools to reach out to us, uh, especially like the school in Newport News. We've had Virginia Beach to contact us, and everybody wanted to know what our program is like. And so we've been trying to share our information with them to make sure that this get passed along to the other schools in the Tidewater area. Terrific. And Bridget, how many uh, young ladies do you have signed up for next year? And tell us a little bit about why you've chosen so far to work with women specifically. Uh, we have 28 students signed up for next year. And we chose to work with females because when we look at our PE classes, um, most of the classes that with the kids who do not participate are overweight females. And when you get down to it, the reason is not because they can't do the physical activity, it's just because they're self-confidence. So we reached out to them and they were willing and that's how we got it. But hopefully we can get the guys involved futuristically. Terrific. Well, again, huge, huge congratulations to all of you. You women look wonderful. Do, you, do we have a total between all of the girls, total weight lost? Maybe a 
100 pounds, at maybe more than 100. At least 100. At least Amazing. Pounds. Congratulations to all of you. Superb. We'll check back with you in just a little bit. All right, still ahead, our special edition of Healthy in Hampton Roads is not over. We'll meet the women behind Seek Foundation, an organization that's all about helping teens and young adults discover their inner confidence through fitness, nutrition, and health.